Hi, I'm Coach Tony Morgan, and today's video is on the Ideal Logic 30. And I've been called out to this boiler today, and the customer said she's getting no heating. And what she said she has to do to get heating is run the hot water for a prolonged period, and then the heating will come on. So I said to her, then we'll come out, check it out, um, won't charge her because I've been out here before and um, it's a repeat business customer so I'll come out to find out what the problem is. So I found out what the problem is and it was basically a user error. But I'm going to explain that this is very easy to do because some customers, like in this case, you can, the expectation of what the reality is wasn't really what they've seen it was. So I explained to her exactly what went on so that's what we're going to look at and hopefully it can help people like this customer and other people like potentially it could be you don't fall, fall into this trap what i was doing was switching the boiler on and off at the wall right and then expecting the blue light to come on immediately Okay. When the blue light didn't come on immediately, I thought it wasn't working, so I then switched the hot tap on. Right. And then, basically, and then, so you've done this, you turn the tap on. And then after a couple of seconds... We won't hot, turn it on. Yeah, go on. The blue light came on. When, with the tap running? With the tap running. Right. And then you'd leave it. So what we'll do, we'll just sort of replay what you did. So you run the tap. So that's the tap running. And then you can see the D symbol on, so the fire's come on now. So that's how you run it, yeah? Yeah. And you leave like that for a few minutes, and then you stop the tap, and then the heat will come on. That's what you said, yeah? Yeah. So the customer's expectation was that because the heating didn't come on immediately, when she put the heating on, she would turn the switch off, and she said, press that button, and expect the blue light to come on immediately. And because it didn't, she'd run the hot water, you would fire up for hot water, then she'd close the tap, and then the boiler would carry on for the heating. And she did that basically on a daily basis. So her expectation was incorrect from reality. So when I explained what the procedure was, then now she knows what to do, her expectation of reality is now correct and she's basically saved herself a call out because I've explained to her what the problem is. As an honest engineer I could have obviously been not honest and obviously some guys can take advantage of that situation. So hopefully this short video on basically customers expectation of reality or understanding your controls properly before you call anyone out is imperative. So you want to add anything to that? No, <clears throat> he's done a really good job, thank you. All right, so that's going to be on this video and hopefully that was useful. So we'll see you on the next video.